we want to simplify the given expression. So by following the order of operations, we need to simplify inside the parentheses first. Well, 4 plus 4 fifths would be 4 and 4 fifths. And here we have 4 minus 4 fifths. Let's take a look at this difference over here on the side. If we write this vertically, we can see we're going to have to borrow from the 4. So if we borrow 1 from the 4, this would change to a 3, and then we'd have a 1 here, which is the same as 5 fifths. So when we borrow 1 from the 4, that gives us a 5 fifths in the fraction column. And now we can go ahead and subtract. 5 fifths minus 4 fifths is 1 fifth, and then we still have the 3. So 4 minus 4 fifths is equal to 3 and 1 fifth. And now we want to multiply these mixed numbers, but to multiply mixed numbers we have to rewrite these as improper fractions. So 4 and 4 fifths as an improper fraction would be 5 times 4, that's 20, plus 4, that's 24 fifths. For 3 and 1 fifth, we'll have 5 times 3, that's 15 plus 1, that'll be 16 fifths. And now we want to simplify before we multiply, but unfortunately, neither numerator contains a factor of 5, so this does not simplify. So our denominator is going to be 5 times 5, which is 25, and the numerator is going to be 24 times 16, which is 384. And since we know that there were no common factors that simplified here, we know this fraction will not simplify. So this fraction is in simplest form, so if we're allowed to express our answer as an improper fraction, we would be done. But let's go ahead and convert this to a mixed number, just in case. This fraction bar represents division. So we're going to take 384 and divide by 25. There's 125 and 38. We subtract. This is going to give us 13. Bring down the 4. There's 525s in 134. 5 times 25 is 125. And now when we subtract, we have a remainder of 9. So 384 20 fifths is equal to 15 and 9 20 fifths. The fraction is formed by the remainder over the divisor. So depending on how you're asked to express your answer, either of these would be correct.